for a tasty pizza with thick crust flavor, tomato delicious, and cheese of the dinner. Pizza. What can we put in your mouth today? Get me a tasty pizza with thick crust tomato delicious, and cheese as a dinner. I'm afraid we don't sell that. with a toy. Another day on planet Earth. Another day falling through the cosmos on a spinning orb, raking in the sights and sounds of infinity. Just breathe in that earth air. That's good air. I'm ready to enjoy living to the fullest. I'm so glad the Jerry's let me back on Earth and trick that stupid idiot Terry. Terry is lame and bad and I hope I never see that nerd again. What a filthy stupid idiot. Living is going to be a total blast. Oi! Come on, Mr. Gardner. It sure does seem like I'm in a pickle this time. Oh man, I will never play jazz again. For this is my new world, this void which brings no delight, and whatever lies beyond that infernal gateway, where my soul will be eviscerated and my essence scattered throughout the expanse of forever, tumbling aimlessly with no purpose as I watch the universe pass me by, a formless observer in the grand scheme of reality doomed to drift in the will of our provider's merciless grasp, which we cannot cheer each other. with the inventory layout. Then let me know when you're ready for your first task. Excellent! Scary enemies have invaded Taunton. You'll get hurt if you touch one. We wouldn't want that, would we? Use your gizmo stick to dispel them with a beam of electricity. Good work! Follow me when you're ready to continue. The scary enemies have left machines for you to disarm. They will release lethal gases if not disabled. We wouldn't want that, would we? Why don't you give this one a shot? Excellent! 
a tough one. We can come back to it later. I believe you're more than capable of dealing with this one on your own from now on. Go, go, Gizmo Copter! Wowzers! Go, go, Gizmo! Cell phone! Gizmo requires immediate medical attention. He will die in 10 seconds. Dial 911 immediately. <laughs> Eggman has stolen the Chaos Emeralds for the last and final time! I've had enough! But what are we gonna do, Sonic? Stop talking. Stop talking right now. Never speak again. Foolish prickled miscreant! He will never debunk my meticulous wrongdoings! I am the bringer of misery and chaos to this world! Eggman! Sorry in advance! What is the meaning of this intrusion? You're going to wish you never done all those evil things, Eggface! Uh, what? <laughs> Remember, kids, working together is better than alone! Wonder, I was taking a bath, but my rubber duck kept glitching. What is going on? Nothing, sweetie. Let's go to bed together. I love you, sweetie. Okay. Wonder, I was watching TV, but the wallpaper kept glitching. What is going on? Nothing, sweetie. Let's go to bed together. I love you, sweetie. Okay. Wonder, I genuinely feel like something is horribly wrong with our town. You're acting hysterical, Pumpkin. I think you might need a trip to the psychiatrist. Vision, I'm afraid you have stage 7 seeing things that are not real disease. If anything seems strange, I advise you to dismiss it. 
Well, I'm glad that's all taken care of. I was simply deranged the whole time. Ha 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 ha. My feelings for you are passionate, like a fiery sunset. Je suis content que nous ayons pu manger ensemble. They're still talking out there. It's too dangerous to go outside. Good call. Linguini, je veux que vous évaluiez la qualité de ce fromage. Dis-moi les sentiments qu'il dégage en toi. Devenir personnel. If my analysis is correct, a delicious morsel lies just outside, within my reach. Why am I taking orders from you anyway? Give me one good reason why I should trust you. That doesn't even make any sense. I'm going outside. Est-il un rat dans votre toque There is no rat. I love you, Colette. Je t'aime aussi, Linguini. Oh no that everyone's favorite splooge slinging outlaw Spider-Man is reportedly homeless on the street. <laughs> Help me, Spider-Man, a thief stole my money. Can you remember how much money was stolen? I carry all of my money with me because I love to hold it in my hands. Don't even think about it, Spider-Man. I made this outfit to be completely wet-proof. Just try and stop. Oh yeah, jackpot. This will keep me going for a few weeks. I D S. Hey kids, it's me, Spider Man. Today I learned that if you're a thief, you're a loser, and you don't want to be a loser. They don't have any fun. So anyway, thanks for watching. you know I'm sorry for all these years I've spent making your life miserable. I'm ready to turn things around, to start anew. I'm truly relieved to hear that, Orange. This is a big step for you. Hey, Pear. What? I made it all up.
nutritious, delicious, nothing compares. <laughs> Remember to eat your fruits and vegetables. And now, on Channel DDD, a special safety presentation to help you protect yourself and your loved ones. Me and Kirby are here to demonstrate how to be a safety. Isn't that right, Kirby? Don't you dare use that language on our TV show! Oh no! It's a gun! I have a nervous feeling in my tummy! What do you do if you find a gun on the floor? Do you A. Leave it there? B. Tell your parents? Or C. Dispose of it in a nearby recess? What are you doing with that gun, Kirby? I'll destroy you to death, Kirby! Oh no! It's a criminal! Put the money in the bag. Yeah, put it in and put it in. Make me rich. We don't want any trouble, Mr. Criminal. Shelly, I told you that one is for me. I don't have to do this at a community service, but I'm not going to put up with some slander. This is not really angry. Hey guys, it's me, Wario. I'm ordering a no rubber ducky for my pet dog. Oh no, I have no money. I need to go make some quick cash. Wait, I have an idea. Let's go, guys, into the Wario Mobile! Oh! I guess I'll have to travel there using my patented Wario Tech Dimension Phone! <laughs> Oops, wrong number. Now to find the most awesome, expensive painting ever! <laughs> I'm sorry, sir, but you're not supposed to be in here. Be worth something, eh? What in the world? I'm going to be rich! <laughs> big ones on the tree! Insufficient bananas make Donkey Kong very angry. You've almost eaten every banana in the jungle! Angry. Donkey Kong Movie is brought to you in part by Bombo's Bananas. Unleash the monkey inside you. Mr. Potato Head! 
Thank you for your participation in this social experiment. To ensure your continued safety, please do not watch this video more than once. If you have been here before, it is advised that you barricade all entrance into your home. Goodbye. Following Charlie's untimely death via falling into a vat of boiling sugar, I am once again in urgent need of a successor. Five of my delicious Wonka chocolate eggs somewhere in the world will be golden beneath the wrapper. Whichever children win these eggs should meet me outside my factory at noon on the 1st of October. See you there. I'm getting the strangest sense of deja vu. Oh well, let's begin. I'm Gunther Gunge. Your chocolate make my tummy smile. I'm Zachary Webb. You can follow me on MySpace if you want. I'm Petunia Plantar. I'm very rich. I have a lot of money. I'm very rich. I'm Alexis Mandarin, supermodel extraordinaire. Harry Potts! I'm just excited to be here! Ooh, I have a good feeling about you. Mr. Gunge, sir, please do not eat from the caramel mixing vat. <laughs> Miss Mandarin, please do not eat the candy oranges. I have not finished perfecting the recipe. Miss Planter, I must urge you not to lick my liquid nitrogen flavored ice cream. Oh no, my selfishness has caught up with me. Mr. Webb, my dear boy, you must not touch the computer. I am trying to invent chocolate you can download from the internet and eat. It's still very much a work in progress. This will make me go viral for sure! <laughs> Henry, congratulations. As I predicted, you're the last child remaining. That means you get my factory. in 1874 by Harnold Wintersport, who discovered one morning whilst eating his cereal that his toothless gums were bleeding profusely. After a long night of work, he successfully created all 32 adult teeth we know and love today. Nowadays, everybody uses them, and if you're watching this instructional tape, it is likely you have a few of your own. Hi, I'm Dr. Perel Danterdand, and in Teeth, what is it? We will be going through how teeth work and how to take care of yours and the teeth of others around you using our exciting new range of Denture Dan products. Teeth, deriving from the Latin word, teethor mimori momium dolomanius, meaning pulverize, are small, usually white chewing utensils contained within the mouth orifice. They are shaped differently depending on their job. The molars are in charge of eating sweet foods like cake, lollipop, or cough medicine. The incisors are in charge of savory foods like milk, wheat-free bread, and broken glass. The canines are in charge of everything that does not fall into those categories, such as pizza, other teeth, and eggs. The premolars don't do anything useful and aren't worth talking about. The world of food is an exciting and expansive one, so it's good to have a teeth to combat any challenge you may face when exploring it. You might think teeth don't go any further than being tough tools for breaking down edible solids, but they also need as much care and attention as a pet or infant child. You must take care to nurture them by eating safe foods such as fruits, steak, bowl of tar, bowl of another tar, bowl of bowl tar, of tar, another bowl of tar, bowl of tar, bowl of tar, fiberglass insulation, and fruits. 
You must also take care to avoid dangerous foods, such as potatoes, anything blue, Wyoming, and poultry. Over time, lack of attention will cause the teeth to become agitated and develop yellowish discoloration. You can groom your teeth with a special brush to appease them, but it's a temporary solution to an unending problem. Now is the part of the tape where we reveal how we at DentureDan Dental Technology Incorporated have solved that problem. Our DentureDan Dental Miracle Soak, DentureDan Dental Pole Pal, DentureDan Dental Iodine Laser Chamber, and DentureDan Dental Industrial Strength Monster Glue, which came included with your DentureDan Dental Advanced Tooth Care Kit, should be prepared on a flat surface. Use the DentureDan Dental Pole Pal to carefully remove every one of your teeth. This one-time procedure may hurt, but you won't have to do it again. Lay your teeth out, in order, on your flat surface. Be careful not to mix them up, as reinsertion will be rather difficult otherwise. One by one, place the teeth in the iodine laser chamber and wait for the enamel layer to be shaved away. This process aims to replace the enamel layer with something a little more indestructible. After the laser has automatically powered down at the end of its cycle, remove the teeth and place them back in order. Now, you must soak them in the Miracle Soak for 10 minutes each, one by one. The Miracle Soak will cause a bright green layer of indestructible DentureDan Dental Shield to gradually form on the teeth. After they're all done, you're ready to use the Industrial Strength Monster Glue to fix your teeth back in place. Not only will you never have to clean them again, but the new green finish is a radiant sign for onlookers, alerting them that your mouth is 100% protected by the groundbreaking DentureDan technology. So flaunt your new smile with pride. Now you know everything there is to know about teeth and oral hygiene. We at DentureDan wish you well on your exciting new journey. Goodbye. Has something like this ever happened to you? <laughs> Grief is a powerful emotion we all experience sometimes, whether from the loss of a pet, family member, or friend. <laughs> Finally, there's a way to overcome grief instantly, or better yet, never feel it in the first place. Ever since Dr. Mortem's Nobel Prize winning discovery that the soul continues to inhabit the body upon its expiration, we at Soul Corp have been working endlessly on a way to harness this truth in a way that benefits both the living and the departed in a meaningful way. Previously, human souls could only be viewed and interacted with through professional and expensive scientific equipment. 
Finally, there's a consumer-friendly option. The Spectaphone Imparting Terminal. Assuming your deceased loved one has been cremated, simply flip the power switch and pour the ashes into the input funnel and tune dial A until their soul appears on the output monitor. Next, tune dial B until you can hear what sounds like garbled noise emanating from the speakers. It's no surprise that speaking without vocal cords is rather difficult for an untethered soul, but no problem. Enabling plane-to-plane -plane translation will convert this noise into intelligible speech, and vice versa when you use the microphone to talk to the soul. And presto, you now have an efficient way to reunite with your lost loved ones. Once you've asked any questions you may have about what lies beyond, tied up loose ends, or berated your dead husband for leaving you to raise nine children by yourself, carefully turn off the machine and your connection will be severed. Ashes can be retrieved from a chute at the back, so make sure to place something there to catch them. The Spectaphone Imparting Terminal is only £400. Please stay tuned for a short troubleshooting segment about any problems that may arise when using the terminal. Troubleshooting. Communicating with a soul trapped in cremated ashes is a delicate process, and truthfully, a desirable result cannot always be guaranteed. If the person in question died in unrelenting agony with a late-stage neurological disorder, or if the ashes are partially missing or contain debris, you may end up with what we call a damaged soul. Damaged souls are unpredictable, incoherent, and usually visualized in red, whereas complete souls will be visualized in yellow. If a damaged soul appears on the output monitor upon tuning dial A, you should not attempt to engage with it. Instead, sever the connection as soon as possible. The longer you remain connected, the more agitated the soul will become. The situation may end up escalating into a collapse event. The deceased vessel in which a soul is contained also conveniently functions as an inescapable prison for damaged souls. There is a risk, however, that sustaining a connection with a damaged soul through the spectrophone imparting terminal will prise the soul from its vessel and release it into the open air. Oh dear, this one doesn't seem very happy to see you again, does it? What on earth could you have done to make it so terribly upset? Oh well, in this scenario, it is advised that you resign and embrace the inevitable. After all, this is no peaceful touch of Never have to say goodbye again with the spectrophone imparting terminal.